The Mongolian metropolis Ulaanbaatar is the coldest capital in the world. It also sadly holds the record for being one of the most polluted towns on the planet. The country emits 10 times more greenhouse gases than the world average. On the outskirts of a modern town centre, the suburbs of Ulaanbaatar continue to expand at a frenetic rate. The settled nomads live here in their traditional yurts, called gurs in Mongolian. Over the course of time, they move permanently to little houses on pieces of land allocated to them by the government. The winters here last nine months, with an average temperature of minus 20. The families have to spend 40% of their income on heating. They burn five tons of wood and coal a year. The stoves used are often dilapidated and inefficient. Those that can replace them as soon as possible. It is at this level that Khazbank got involved by offering the users improved heating systems. Using a microloan, Khazbank clients can finance the stoves which pay for themselves within a year and cut the heating costs by half. The employees at Khazbank mainly approach new arrivals to the capital, who are very unaware of environmental problems. Devagilam has just left the countryside for good. Efficient heating and the insulation of yurts are not top priority for former nomads. They continue to migrate towards Ulaanbaatar, where 40% of the population of Mongolia already live. Khazbank market the more modern stoves and thermally protective covers for the yurts. To pay for this equipment, the impoverished households can take out a microloan. loan. <laughs> During the winter months, a household spends more than 20 euros a week on fuel. This can be up to 50% of the family's budget. As a result, having one of the new stoves at home creates substantial savings and a better quality of life. Demand for the Kazbank stoves is huge. The Mongolian government heavily subsidize equipment that reduces greenhouse gas emissions. However, this is a situation which could be subject to change. Uh, beginning this year, the government subsidy uh, is going down. Before it was 93% uh, of subsidy, but now it is going down at the uh, beginning of this year, this government subsidy will be 66%. It means uh, the prices for end users will be go up and the, our uh, micro loans uh, will be more useful for Kirari households. Since the launch of the initiative, Kazbank has replaced 136,000 stoves in Ulaanbaatar. The correct disposal of the old equipment, which is difficult to impose on certain customers, is however essential in order to receive a state subsidy. The new units release less than four times the amount of particles into the air. The initiative has reduced the emissions of greenhouse gases by 380,000 tonnes, which can be negotiated at between three and five dollars per ton on the emissions trading market. We could uh, sell the carbons, the CO2, to private carbon market in Chicago through uh, our partner Microenergy Credit. The earnings are invested back to support energy efficient projects on a larger scale. The effects of Kazbank's programme of eco-friendly products on the urban environment and the health of the public are already obvious. 
the goal of the initiative is to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by 2 million tonnes by the year 2019.